We've all had those cases where a patient with altered mental status is brought into the ER and then a friend or family member or the EMS crew uh, hands you a little bag of powder saying, hey, I found this near the patient. Maybe this has something to do with it. We do send a lot of urine drug screens in the ER and most of the time they're useless, but they can really help in these cases. However, what do you do if you have a patient who doesn't make urine or won't give you any or doesn't have any in their bladder and you really want to know what's in that little bag of powder? Well, you can get around this problem by making some artificial urine and sending that for the drug screen. Making your faux urine drug screen is pretty easy. All you have to do is pour the mystery powder into a sterile container and add some normal saline, not water, but saline, as I'm doing here from a flush. And swirl it all around a bit to dissolve your mystery powder. Then, just to uh, help our friends in the lab humor us, add a little tiny dip of fluorescein just to make this really look like urine so you don't put anybody in an uncomfortable position. Voila! There you go. Now send it off to the lab as a urine drug screen only and wait for your results. Just remember that most hospital urine drug screens are stuck in the early 90s and will test for things like cocaine and barbiturates and opiates, which are derived from the opium poppy, but will not detect things like suboxone or bath salts or fentanyl or tramadol. So a negative urine drug screen does not mean your patient isn't on drugs. It just means they aren't on the drugs that you tested for. If things don't work out and your lab won't run the test, you can always drink your simulated urine and try and guess what drug is in there. But I don't recommend it.